What's up gamers? Happy Saturday. Today we are going to go over my 86 overall Detroit Lions 35 out of 40 theme team. And then I'm going to show you how I attack defenses on the offensive side of the ball. And then how I attack offenses when I am on the defensive side of the ball. Now, what I don't do is show you stuff in practice mode. I always try to show you against a live opponent. As you can see, we got Matt Stafford right here. Then we got Marcus Allen, Kerryon Johnson, CJ Anderson, Tyree Hill, Herman Moore up to a 93 overall, Kenny Galladay, and then we got Golden Tate, Torrey Hope, Eric Ebron boosted up to a 90 overall, TJ Hawkinson, and then we have elites in the places that we need. Left guard, center, right tackle. A lot of people have Von Millers, Lawrence Taylor. So you want to make sure you can hold your blocks as much as possible on that right side of the field. And then you need pretty good run blocking on the left side of the field so you can run the ball, keep your opponent honest. Once we get to the defensive side of the ball, you can see I don't have the best team on Madden. I have the right amount of personnel to be able to compete. Now they got the glitchy abilities, they got the DDA, they got all the stuff that is out of your control. So you don't have to go out and chase overalls. It is scheme over team. Now, if you use my tips and my tricks or my ebooks, the link is in the description. You have an 8 out of 10 chance of winning. Now, that's about 80%. Now, you can have a 92, 93 overall team right now, like some of the YouTubers or people who don't have common sense that spend three to four thousand dollars and try to keep up with the YouTubers, and you still only have an 8 out of 10 chance of winning. Now, you can see we got Kelvin Johnson boosted up to a 91. We got Darius Slay. We got Justin Coleman, the new veteran in the slot. We got Trey Flowers. We got Nadama Sue. We got Damon Harrison. We got Deshaun Hand. And then right here, we just got other team players, like I said, to fill in gaps. This is using my blitzer out of the big packages. But if we are sending 3-4, we got Lawrence Taylor to an 88, Von Miller, and then we got Pat Tillman that I moved down to the cornerback slot. I usually drop either Xavier Howard or Darius Slay up top with a speed, and then that's about it. Let's get into a gameplay and see if we can match up with somebody and dominate. Those are my top three cards, Herman, Torrey, Matthew Stafford, and he has the Muttmaster, Ryan Shazier and DeAndre Hopkins. So when you don't see Vic, when you don't see Lamar Jackson, when you don't see Steve Young as the top three cards, that mean that they didn't spend a lot of money on boosting the escape artist up to his full max ability. So that changes the way that you play defense. You don't have to have contain and a spy on the field. You can be more aggressive. So remember to keep that in the back of your head. When you see no real threat at the core quarterback spot, you can play a little more aggressive. So right here, he's coming out and single back. So in my mindset, I'm thinking that he's probably going to do an RPO. So we're going to uh, guess pass. So he does have Steve Young. It might be an RPO, so we want to guess pass. So we left the middle wide open. Now we got to cut back to the outside because it's a wide open gap. So in that single back on the first play, so he's switching his offenses. So I'm thinking he's going to try to target the running back real fast or somebody underneath. So now he just made an adjustment. So we want to take away all these routes from him. And like I said, he has the uh, Steve Young that he can roll out of the pocket. So you got to make sure that you try to bait him into something. So now he's at iPhone Pro. So he's just really going through a lot of different plays, which I don't mind. So we're going to double man him. And then we're going to show blitz. And now we should be able to get that outside and lock him down. So he had two successful plays, and he's just going through a book. He don't have a full scheme, as you can see by his first three play calls. He's just going through a different amount of plays. So now we can set up our defense. I got a pretty good idea on what he like to do. So it might be a run. We can shoot this gap. And he throws it underneath, and we are right there. So we're going to try to bump this guy, and we get the pressure in. Like I said, his first three play claws, 
let me know that I can start mixing in the pressure. It was safe for me to mix in the pressure. He had two successful plays. I kept everything in front of me. He started off running the ball. So now my 86 overall team is starting to look a little better than what they should, and that's okay. So we coming on first down, we're gonna look at his personnel, four down linemen. It's a good chance that he might get black shed. So I'm gonna start off with a run, see what his run defense is like. And I'm gonna move the furthest guy out, hoping I can bring somebody with me. So it's up to me to go right behind the center and make my decision. So we're gonna go right behind the center. We can see a hole open right there. And that's an easy seven to eight yard. And we're gonna see where he leaves open. So we got two corner routes, like a bench concept. And we're gonna see who gets open first. So we can low ball that, and that's a possession catch so right now we are one for two that was a big third down and you always got to keep them honest mix in the run especially when they come out in the play and they playing a lot of coverage just make sure you mix in the run so that last play he didn't send any pressure so we're gonna do some fake hikes and we're gonna motion a different guy out and we're gonna see like I said I'm gonna look behind that center and see what decision I need to make so there he is we're gonna cut back behind him and we're gonna take probably one or two yards that was three yards right there and I would take that the whole time. The whole point is to make him do something that he don't want to do. So here he is. This time he's going to be watching for that. So we're going to see. Can the A get underneath? Or can the X get behind it? So we're going to motion him out. Because if it's a blue, he should be able to drop underneath. And we got to have the time in the pocket. So he's following him. And there he is with the cut. Possession catch over the top. For a nice 17 to 18 yard game right there. My God gives you everything that you need to know for all that. So we're going to give him a motion to make him think about the person over there. Give him a fake hike. And then we're going to see where we need to make our run to. So the outside is open. Now we can cut back. And that's about three or four yards. So we're going to keep him in this defense. We have three different plays that we can run out of this defense. So now he's being aggressive. His user has to make the right decision. He's moving people around. He tries to get to the outside where I'm at and we get about eight or nine yards. So now we can come out in our main play. This is usually when they're aggressive. So now we can come out in our main offense, third and one, they have to watch everything underneath so we can kind of uh, get him to suck down. So we want to make sure we got two options at the uh, touchdown and then two underneath routes. So he should play underneath. We're going to hit that right there. He has room to catch it and get into the end zone and that was a perfect drive right there so like I said we're gonna play regular defense again he's gonna try to get to this outside we're gonna contain that through the middle and we got the backside help right there there's three rushes for four yards we are stopping the run so he's probably gonna go into a big package some people will stick to the run stick to the run stick to the run just like he's doing So we're going to try to get to the, okay, he faked it to the other side. We got him to the outside. He's going to cut, and I'm right there. That's what I'm saying. It's glitchy abilities, fast, evasive running backs, and you just got to help. Don't over-pursue. I knew he was going to juke the computer out, and I was right there to help. So we want to make sure that we guard the middle. He might do a quick slant. He can't hit this corner. We can come down and we can get a big hit. That was a good scramble by him. That's the only thing 90% of people have on Madden. They get escape artists or somebody with a little bit of speed. They don't want to use the Tom Brady's, the Matt Stafford's, the quarterbacks like I am using. So right here, he's in a big package. So we're going we gonna to show blitz, but we're going to bluff it. And we got to make sure this is uh, contained. So there we go. You go quickly throw it to him. There he is with the escape artist throwing it. We can't let him catch that. And it's out of bounds. Perfect defense in the playoffs. 86 overall team. Now we're going to come back out to the run. We are in control. So we want to use as much clock as possible. He has to make good reads, good decisions. So he has a better chance of getting a black shed on that left side. So we're going to try to come over here. We're going to cut back and we're going to take our one to two yards. So now we're going to flood that side and hope that we can get somebody through the backside. So we're going to put him in the drag underneath. 
So now we got two options, A or Y on the back side. So there's the thing, there's A. He gets enough room, we gotta rep catch that, dive, stretch out, get the first down, did he get it? He did get the first down. So that was another good play right there. So now we can come back to the run, and once he gets aggressive, we can switch the run up. So get to the outside for me, cut in, get the block, 14 to zero in the playoffs. Y'all see how good my scheme is. I don't run the ball over and over and over. I watch what my opponent is doing, seeing if he's real exotic with his blitzes, and then I make my adjustments. Watch the jukes. We got help over there. Let's go. Let's go. We got help over there. Get the ball right back. Now we can run our type of offense. So we just got to go underneath, take out two to three yards every single time. Let's go. Take out two to three yards every time. We haven't thrown an interception. This guy is playing like all kinds of crazy scared defense. His pressure has not got to me. So we, we looking real good. We looking real good right now. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Now it's time to pull out the verticals. So now he has the chase down the field. We need a good throw. Get down. Get down. Get down. Let's go. Let's go. Field wide open. Field is wide open. He played hard flats right there. Field was wide open. He can only hold one or two people. So now we can come up with the mesh spot. We're going to come up with our mesh spot. And we're going to confuse him. So we're going to bring him to the outside. So we can make sure he get over any soft coverages. So we got to stay in this pocket. His user's right there. That was a bad throw. That was a bad throw. A pick six by me. All my dudes was congested in the middle. None of my underneath routes got open. And we, we won game from the Super Bowl, so we cannot play like that. A few moments later. So he's playing that left side. Put your feet down. Let's go. Let's hurry it up. Now I need him to change his user. He's not changing his user yet. Did he get his feet in there? Yes, he did. My opponent was staying in the middle of the field. First and goal. They didn't give me the touchdown, y'all. There's the blitz. Now his back is against the wall. That's three sacks from Jay Jones. Only a 80 overall. So there's a wheel roll and the pressure comes in again. Sack number four. If you want the setups to this, this ain't just a regular blitz that you see on YouTube. So we got a delayed blitz setup right now. Two people. We got to push the SWAT. Push the SWAT. Let's go. No, we got that. We got that, baby. We got that. Ain't no deep balls. No time left. We advance to the Super Bowl, man. I love y'all. Let's go.